So when I got to the University of Missouri in 1989, there was something called the mystery pig disease. People didn't know what it was, but it was causing significant economic loss across the country. Later, it was identified as a molecule or as a virus called PERS, porcine reproductive and respiratory syndrome virus. This virus infects pigs, uh, specifically the white blood cells in pigs, and specifically it binds to, we know now, a molecule called CD163. This causes pigs to abort, it causes low reproduction, it causes diarrhea, it causes uh, lack of body weight gain, it, it, it uh, results in the death of animals. It's devastating to producers that get it. So the primary question in the project was related to whether or not we could produce pigs that would be resistant to a virus, and in particular the PERS virus. It turned out that the answer to that is yes, that, that we could find an Achilles heel that the virus required, and we removed that. Uh, so the pigs would now be resistant and hopefully those animals will eventually get used in the industry uh, to provide a certain level of protection to the pig producers and a certain amount of animal welfare benefit uh, in regard to preventing a disease. These pigs were, were edited and created by two different methods. One of those methods is by zygote injection, where the CRISPR-Cas9 RNA was injected into, the, into a zygote, and then those embryos received the DNA edit and were transferred back into a pig um, for live birth. We also used the somatic cell nuclear transfer method to, to create these pigs, where you edited a fibroblast cell line and then cloned the pigs from that cell line. So these pigs are very similar to domestic pigs. The only thing that is different is that they have a small DNA edit in the CD163 gene, um, but they perform normally, they look like normal pigs. Um, we haven't seen any differences. We were trying to seek funding sources, and, and Genus came alongside as we got to that point where we really needed them and they provided the funding so that we could uh, make the pigs and challenge them with the virus and basically carry the ball over the goal line. They provided that so we could get that done. Well, now that we have it done, this is an incredible collaboration because they have, a, the Genus owns uh, PIC, Pig Improvement Company, and hopefully they'll be able to get clearance through FDA so that this can enter the marketplace and so that we can prevent some of these in incredible losses. So if we consider the, who, the beneficiaries of collaborations, I think that as a general rule, everyone benefits. The university benefits, we benefit. The, in this case, Genus benefits, our corporate partner in this, in this project. But long term, the goal is to produce um, a better product for animal agriculture and consumers and the pigs will be the final beneficiary.